Last time on Up Close and Personal. Okay, so... Man, they're just swarming us today. Where are you going? To Dallas? Yes, terror mission in Dallas. Awesome. <sighs> this is going to be a pretty rough month. <laughs> Compared to last month, it's going to be pretty rough. Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. In this 32nd episode, we're continuing our Terror in Dallas mission. It has started off well with seven sectoids stunned. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, we got them. We're, those flashbangs are being awesome. Um, we've got a little bit of a grenade magnet here, but we've got some smoke, so that may help save us. Now, we do have, um, come on now, no, let go. We do have, uh, I think we stunned a civilian who was up here with one of our flashbangs. Now, that'll be an interesting thing. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we've got a, a civilian down here. Um, there's, there's a weird thing about, um, XCOM that if you stun a civilian often they come back as hostile uh, that said I think our stun will keep them down so I don't really know that that's gonna be a problem all right but I think let's see here we've moved a lot of our troops we're gonna bump some more up to the front here never hoodie will be available to deal some punishment next turn X racer uh, off of Benham move you guys up and Tom Zhang yeah like I said I was uh, really going to town um, stunning um, and working on trying to shoot all these guys and I hadn't been checking them for a sectoid leader I really want to get a sectoid leader there's some important important uh, research that we can get from them but our general tactic of spamming flashbangs everywhere is going to just lead in our favor toward capturing them anyway so that's good. All right, let's give the enemy a turn. Let's go. They do like to shoot the civilians. That is a thing for sure. There was some fire going on over here, and there was a civilian dying over here. And we see a sectoid. So he was shooting over there. We can take him out right away. That's good. Look down this way. And another sectoid. All right. He's going to be a little trickier to get to. We're going to have to get a soldier who can toss that way. Okay. Um, and I do want to deal with that. So let's get uh, Tetsu. He's got another primed grenade. If you can sir run to say there. Yes. Take your grenade and throw to say there. See. There cuz there's this overhang. All right, the splash effect was enough. Excellent. Okay, and Miss Wolfie lady. Ooh. Yeah, you're packing a lot of flash, a lot of high explosives, but you've also got one more flashbang. Boom! Wolfie's like my artillery. <laughs> that girl can toss. That's awesome. Okay, so two more sectoids down. Coming, clearing this corner of the map. That is good. Okay, can't see anything more here. Uh, we've still not yet spotted any cyber discs. That is a little concerning. Still nothing over there. Lots of sectoids down, though. That's good. Um, if I do that... No. If I do... Oh, right. You can't do the inventory thing with a cyber disc. Okay. But we've got civilians. Would have been nice if we could have saved everybody. Gosh, that would have been awesome. But, yeah, that's just really not in the cards. Not in the cards there's an impossible metal to get that you can <laughs> if you save everybody you can um, you can be awarded alright let's check this guy out this guy is a medic okay and he had a stun launcher too 
Alright, uh, Nino, let's get you um, over, no, over here. Go to there. Okay, good. Barret, please run to here. Oh, you see another sectoid. Okay. So we've got this roof structure we can toss over there. Wolfie could have got it. Omni, no. Oh, you are you also are my heavy. Oh, I think I've got somebody up in the craft. Neverhoodian can probably get it there. Or Kiabura. Kiabura's packing the heavy explosives. Neverhoodian. I want to throw over that building. And I want to throw past the Sky Ranger. Over the Sky Ranger. Can you throw over there? You can. Nice. And well, that was everybody. No cyber discs. Awesome. Oh, that was an amazing mission. Wow. We got nine live aliens. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We. They only killed one civilian. Excellent. We saved nine. 540 out of a terror mission is an awesome score. So, no cyber discs. I wonder if the pounding that we put on this, the ship kind of reduced that or not. I don't know. Can't actually say we did kill one. We did kill one, though. Hopefully he wasn't the leader. Alien containment exceeds limits. Sectoid leader. Yes! All right. Let's sell us off some... Okay, these are gonna. These guys get killed when you do that. Uh, space available three. We need to kill three more. Um, kill an engineer, a navigator, and an engineer. Sure. Excellent. All right. Yeah, and we're we don't have as many flashbangs as we had before. Barrett, get, congratulations on your promotion. Bolts cross. Whoopee! You stunned a leader. Good job. Good job. All right. And that's coming through um, correctly. Now, here's the good news. The awesome, awesome news. Nike crosses are still getting awarded erroneously. And that's not the awesome news. Uh, the flashbangs are something wrong here. All right. So this is good. Shoes can watch this episode. The, what I was going to say is Shoes has actually been able to do some work on the mod, which is excellent. So he, he's fixed Goomba stomping, as far as we know. We've not been able to test that yet. Um, he, we thought he fixed the erroneous Nike cross awards, but it can be happening because I'm using a flashbang grenade, and the grenade is uh, a mod that's not really... It's known, and so it doesn't understand... Oh, so Nike Cross is being awarded for folks who are using those. Okay, that's that's good. He'll be able to deal with that. Military Cross is good, but he, I mean, in in what he's doing, he's been able to clean up a lot of the uh, errors that I've seen. Uh, we're not getting the Order of the Hammer or Bolts Cross. We were getting those for knife kills, so maybe those will still happen. I don't know. But here's a cool award too, Sectoid Xenocide Award. The Omni Null got one of those. Got the Order of Earth, Nike Cross for a lot of folks. Uh, uh, Nike Cross is erroneous, sorry. Um, the Military Cross for a lot of folks. Cool, cool, cool. Nice work. And we're gonna have a ton of loot to sell. Let's sell off that awesome, juicy loot. Sell it off. Okay, heavy plasmas, four, we don't need those. Goodbye, plasma rifles, two, don't need those. There's a million dollars. That'll pay for those folks we hired. Blaster launchers. Yeah, I want to hang on to... I, I know I need to research the bomb. I don't know if I need to research the launcher first. Uh, stun launchers, I know we don't need all those. I'm going to hang on to one launcher, too. Sectoid corpses, we'll just keep one. Let's sell some... Well... Um, we'll interrogate these guys and sell them later. Sell them later. Okay, very, very cool. Awesome work. I like it. Yes! Three million dollars, and we got a lab coming online. That's excellent. 
Excellent, excellent. That was a very successful mission. Um, we should build some more flashbangs, which we are. We're getting some more flashbangs. Good. Okay, cool. That's in production. Let's go then. Let's get it fast forwarding. All right, and we got all of our new recruits to defend XCOM. Yeah, don't know how much that's going to help. Okay, another lab. Excellent. Go to base. Now, research, we've got um, only these 50 scientists, and we can hire some more now. Hyperwave decoder just going slow. That's a pain in the neck. Hmm. All right, so... Yeah, I really want to build our hyperwave decoders, but I want to get some more lab rats in here. Well, let's give it a break and let it go then. Uh, yeah, so we're done with our early terror mission this month. Good. Flashbangs are done. Okay. Um, I'd actually probably like to make some more. We spanned a lot. Yeah. Yeah, let's make more. We can always use more flashbangs. Let's go ahead and make another 21. Because they're useful. I'm, in a way, I'm quite glad we didn't have to deal... Yes! This is what I was waiting for. I'm quite glad we didn't have to deal with the... Uh, cyber discs, but I'm also curious as to whether or not flashbangs would be as successful against them as I'm hoping. All right, the hyperwave decoder, good. It's 26 days, so we'll have those up middle of next month. It 1400, 14, yeah, that's a lot of money. Okay, yeah. So I need to build these. Uh, alien communication rely on a supra-dimensional wave, which travels almost instantaneously. The decoder facility intercepts UFO transmissions and decodes the information. This will show the type of UFO, the alien race, and the type of activity. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so there's our research. Okay, so that's let's get our research going. Ooh. Let us get this guy going here. So we got alien origins as possible. Blaster bomb. We don't need to to research a launcher. We can sell that. Cool. Um, sectoid leader, tell us your secrets. Excellent. Excellent. We got three different corpses. We can also research at some point. Excellent. All right. So, now, we need to build them. Small radar system, goodbye. Hyperwave decoder, hello. Those are expensive. So we've only got enough for one mower. Hmm. So the question is this. This area is really going to cover more. I should build it here. If I had it here, I would see every supply mission that goes in here. But no, we need to put it here in in XCOM subreddit. All right, build build me a hyperwave decoder. Um, let's build it out over here. Yeah, build facility hyperwave decoder. Build it there. Good. All right. 26 days and we've got another workshop coming on we'll be able to make some even more stuff over here yeah okay I like it a lot and actually while I'm over here let's just sell this gear sell off this gear the stuff am I I'm not in the right bit I'm in the right base sell the gear sell the blaster launcher sell the stun launcher Another little chunk of change there to help tide us over while we are going on. All right. So that's been a great mission. Let's go ahead and uh, kick time up a little more here. Got a few more minutes. We can do some recording. Alien containment. UFOpedia. Good. That's good. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Good. So any uh, anybody that we take with... There we go. 
All right, so he's got getting repaired. Yeah, and I need to get some more stingrays. Um, I also needed to rename this craft over here in Euphopedia. Here we go. Equip the craft, Sky Ranger 2. Your name is Beagle. Beagle, as in Beagle Rush, who's an awesome, um, awesome YouTuber who's doing some really incredible work with Long War. Which is exciting. I did also, I guess I also want to mention um, that uh, Marbazir, who's also doing his Long War series, just fired up Beta 14, which came out this week. So that's cool and exciting. Alright, we do have some rookies out here too. Now, is Pogue still. Oh, cancel that. Pogue still has that. Yeah, um. Pogue is still a rookie. Wow. Yeah, Beagle's got his, um, uh, not Beagle, yeah, Beagle is running Long War, but Marbazir has his Beta 14 uh, Long War started up. Actually, I watched the first episode, part of it yesterday, and Ivan's in it, and i got to write a combat diary. <laughs> oh, I've got to take a bit of time and don't have that set up yet. But anyway, that's cool. Okay, Beagle is our new name of our new Interceptor in Ufopedia. All right, so congratulations, Beagle, for joining my show, um, and it's been a lot of fun watching your your series as well. Uh, he's also a Twitch streamer, very popular uh, streamer, really well done, neat guy. Um, okay, so yeah, there's that's good. Those are our our things here. Let's keep moving. We got a little more time still. Small, where are you? Where are you going? You're going southwest? I think it's time to... Oh, right. We're low? Oh, yeah. We need to hire another interceptor, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was low on stingrays. Now we could shoot him down over the water, and... I'm going to turn off the avalanches. I don't really want to shoot him off. He's a large scout. Um, I'd just as soon track him and shoot him down over land. And we can get a, a combat mission out of it. Okay. You. Briar. Uh, cancel that. You come over here and engage. We're probably going to take some damage. Because when we get into stingray range. Uh, they can shoot back at us. Yeah, um, yep, let's hire us another Interceptor. Purchase, recruit, Interceptor, that, Stingray, launch, Stingray missiles, that. Let's go ahead and put you with two avalanches, though. Yeah, get enough avalanches, because pretty soon our... These craft are not going to be, uh, these mis these weapons are not going to be enough to deal with it. And we really should be going towards plasma cannons, because we're going to need those. But uh, that's cool. So we're, we have another tactical mission coming up here next episode. Not enough stingrays, I know that, but I bought some more. And um, we'll do that in the daytime. And, ah, ah, uh, yeah. I think we have a rookie to promote. So let's get that done and we'll close this episode out. So Soldier, Mama Bear is now a squatty. And Mama Bear, you are not actually Mama Bear. Nice improvement with your strength. Time units, what a good improvement there too. Really nice. Um, your throwing accuracy improved a little bit. Bravery, me, not so good. Act fire reactions, firing actually not so good. Although it did get a bump. Just that one shot. You fired one shot and hit one, one uh, soldier or something. And um, you got a kill. So actually, let's go back here. Let's rename you really quick. And let's see who you are. You are going to be. Now I've got a, a, a couple more slots in my roster available. Um, I do have five more um, folks who have asked to be recruited so I'm gonna bring those folks in and then we will get our our clones back in action okay tuck 
at k. Tuck it. All right. Thank you. Tack it. Not tuck. Not tack it. Tuck it. Tuck ATK. Awesome. Nice to have you on on board. Your maniac sees kind of good. It actually is pretty good. You are a knifer. I'm going to give you that designation. Yeah. So you'll carry a combat knife, and with given the opportunity, you'll be able to spam that out. Okay, so we got that. Let's check your record really quick, and it's going to say one mission. It's going to say you stunned a sectoid medic with a flashbang. Yeah, Nike Cross. I'm going to have to remove these. I've gone through, too, in all the saves and removed all the Nike Crosses and, um, and awarded some of the other medals, but yeah. That's not. It's given to a soldier who single-handedly killed every alien in a mission. Guys, you're not getting Nike crosses for stunning one soldier. So quit bugging me about taking, remove, administratively removing your awards. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. All right. Excellent work. Excellent work. Good job. Nice to have you on board. Okay. So that's that. Take a quick look at the graphs. Alien activity still going up. UFO, uh, the the XCOM score is up though, 500 to something ish. Are we getting any more activity somewhere else? I'm missing. Not really. Okay, I'm okay with that. Good. Let's close out with a UFOpedia entry for one of our medals. All right. The Prowler Cross. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Mr. Gopher, it's me, Mr. Squirrel. Just a harmless squirrel. Not a plastic explosive or anything. Nothing to worry about. Howdy shack. <laughs> this medal is awarded in recognition of the mastery of killing the enemy with booby traps and IDs. There are four levels of award at one, three, five, and eight kills with proximity grenades. And this is uh, a pretty cool one. And actually, this is not the correct graphic. I need to update this. Um, I've done some remastering on these graphics, and the ones that don't have as many pixels like this that are not as pixelated out are the better one. But um, I've got to I've got to pull in the correct uh, picture for it. But it, it's four arrowheads kind of representing guerrilla tactics and a proxy grenade and this is what folks are earning with their uh, proxy grenade kills we got a lot of those in our base defense missions we've also got a few more soldiers who've got them in other missions um and so the proxy grenades are a pretty useful tool pretty useful in killing the bad guys all right so there's the prowler cross it's been an honor to have you with me for this 32nd episode of Let's Play X Open XCOM 1.0. I do have a couple more slots. You can join up. Just sign up below. Let me know you'd like to have a soldier named after you. You've been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich, and we will see you again in episode 33 of Up Close and Personal. Cheers!